Hey fellas, it's Mick from Sydney, Australia. So just mucking around in my shed. I thought I'd show a video. Everyone does cotton wool balls soaked in Vaso. I've got them too, I've got them everywhere. But why not um, have wood covered in Vaso? So let's do some feather sticking. I'm using the uh, Mezzarin Italian fold out knife. Doing the best job at this, but it's working. If you see my video on this knife, it shaves the hairs off your arm better than a Mac 3 razor or a Mac 5 razor. But when it comes to feather sticking on, I'm, I'm friggin' hopeless, eh? So. But anyway, just for demonstration purposes. I'll try to do some feather sticking here and show you guys that um, adding a bit of vaso on the uh, feathers, I guess you can call it, will extend the flame enough to uh, spark up a decent fire. So I'm pretty shit at this. Every time I do a feather, it seem to cut the thing. Nah, see? Yeah, I'm digging too deep. That'll do. Alright, so there's my feather. Get the good old Vaso. So, I always carry Vaso in every bag I carry. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit or a lot, but the vaso is already all, always there. So if you can hear the kids there going nuts inside the house. Alright, so rubbed it with vaso. My hands clean now. I'm starting the fire modern way with the lighter. So feather stick, vaso, lighter. There you go. Look at that. Oh, fuck, it's dropping drop it on the uh, table here. So you can see, nice flame with just those feather sticks I've done. A bit of vaso. It's going to give you enough time to uh, start a bigger fire if you've got some tinder and kindling, kindling with you. And, uh,. There you go. It's probably burning the same time a, uh, a cotton wool ball with vaso would burn. But this way you're using natural material, but you're using vaso. And there it goes. Still some flame there. So if I did some more feather sticking, that would probably extend. But yeah, that lasted about. 20 30 seconds, I guess. So, there you go wood and vaso and a good old lighter.